What's up everyone, my name is Miles at Miles of Color Everywhere Online and today I am here to teach you how to edit eyes in Adobe Lightroom. Now before we get started, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Miles of Color everywhere else online as well. With that being said, let's just hop straight into Lightroom. All right guys, so now we are in here in Lightroom and we're going to be editing the eyes of my friend Charisma at Charisma Collins everywhere online, I believe. And we're just going to hop in here. You can click, I think the key is K or you can just tap on this little brush right here. And this is the brush tool. So I have my setting right now on Dodge Lighten. However, it doesn't really matter what the setting is. Just get something that's pretty like neutral, something you won't have to wor really worry about that much. And we're just going to make some adjustments real fast. And this is going to brighten the eyes when we actually apply the brush on her irises. So I'm going to put about 0.7 for the exposure here. For the highlights, we're gonna do 20 shadows, 20, and that's going to lift up the shadows, boost the highlights, those are things that we want. We're also going to add some clarity here, which is gonna kind of do some, some contrast work as well as uh, 10 in the D haze. So that was 0.7 exposure, 20 highlight, 20 shadows, 20 clarity, and then 10 in the D haze section. You can mess around with sharpness and everything like that if you'd like to. I don't think it's necessary, but maybe sometimes it is if you have some motion blur or something you can add some sharpness to the eyes and hopefully get them to be a little sharper. And then I have my feather and my flow at 100, density at 100, and the brush size we might change a little bit. Yeah, so to change the brush size, I'm going to scroll my mouse down or up. That adjusts the size of the brush, and this looks good to me. So I'm going to paint, let's see, just around her eyes right here. And I'm not using like a, any type of pad or pen right now, so I'm doing it all by mouse. And you can kind of see the effects happening right now. Just to be sure of what I'm painting, I'm gonna click Show Selected Mask Overlay. Boom, you could click O as well, I believe that shows it. Yeah, there we go. And great, so I'm gonna paint around this iris as well. I wouldn't really consider doing the pupil or the whites of the eyes, because those will be affected drastically. However, the iris is where all the fun is. Also keep in mind this will work best with blue, green or hazel eyes and brown eyes will, you'll probably need a little bit more exposure um, just to mess with them a little more. Okay, so cool. Let's do a little before and after by clicking the bracket or what is this like the slash key? Okay, cool. So let's see what it looks like back here. Nice. So it looks like we have like a reflector right here. Bring in this catch light like all the way up to her eyes here. And I think it looks really good. Of course, the whole photo isn't edited yet, but I like to start with my eyes and my exposure settings just to get a good idea of where the photo can go. We can also go in here and save this brush. So you can scroll all the way down here and save current settings as new preset. And let's just call this Miles of Eyes. Boom, there we have it, our new Miles of Eyes adjustment. And yeah, now you guys can remember, uh, you know, who helped you who helped you with this little trick. And I hope it was useful. I hoped that you learned something here with our eye edit. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful. I hope you liked that edit. Please remember to check me out on Instagram at Miles of Color Everyone Online. And also check out Charisma Collins at Charisma Collins. She's a super talented influencer and just has an amazing look. And there's some photos of her on my profile as well. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoy kind of quick tips like this versus my longer videos. I'm going to be trying to do more of these probably just to give you guys little bits of information because I realize a lot of you are newer photographers. So the longer videos are probably a lot to take in. So I'll upload these and these will be little bite-sized tutorials for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comments and I will see you there. Okay, bye.